Alright, so here we are back for episode 14.5, I'll call it. Just sort of um, get the corn done and do it on camera. Just so we can we can have a look at, at how it works. Obviously I've done it before, but doing it ourselves is a bit different. And we'll get, a f get the field done, take it up to the pigs, make sure they're 100% happy how they should be. And then off camera, I will do it today since I say 11.30. We're still day four. I'll just harvest these other fields full of wheat. And then obviously we need to work out. Um, we'll unfold it. Obviously need to work out how I'm going to start baling because it's very expensive. We may need to hire, hire the equipment. And this is obviously going to take a fair while. It's not a very wide very wide attachment at all so it's going to be very slow yeah I did go up and put what well, topped up the hay which took hardly anything for the nine pigs so I'm just going to wait till it gets down fairly low before I go fiddling around with that again it's not worth the time and effort having to put the hay in the trailer and then having to tip it off again. So I didn't worry about the sugar beets or anything. I have to just keep an eye on how quick it's actually gonna gonna drain everything. Obviously it says enough food for six days, I think it says, so we're gonna have way too much stuff up there anyway at the moment but that'll last us a fair while. Obviously once we start getting some more pigs and they start producing producing babies and stuff and then we'll have have to start topping it up a bit quicker. They'll have a lot more food. It'll still take six days for it to empty, but there'll just be a lot more capacity for food itself. Something I'd like to see them change would be the capacity straight up. You should be able to fill it up to the maximum that you have the capacity for, whether it be yeah, obviously it takes say 2,000 litres of water for nine pigs well why don't we just have a capacity of say 50,000 litres for water full stop so we can fill it up 50,000 litres worth and then it just drains at whatever rate it does same as with you know sugar beets maybe say 150,000 200,000 litres of sugar beets and it just drains however it drains per day per animal so Say one animal drains, say, 50 litres sugar beets a day. The more animals you have, the quicker it's going to drain, obviously. The same with like, the wheat and the barley and the straw. All that sort of stuff. Now, I know it says, it says on there, cleanliness. So I'm not sure if we have to go in and, and clean it ourselves, or if we just add new straw to make it cleaner. I'm thinking we'll have to remove the old straw somehow. So what I'll do is I'll just fill this up once, come and unload it into our trailer, at least another big trailer and I sold the smaller one, it was just, just way too small, it took forever to do anything with it. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll fill it up with one load out of the harvest, so take it up, tip it off, we're going to have way too much anyway compared to what they're going to eat for the six days. So. We'll just do that and come back down and I'll keep finishing this off off camera and do all the other fields, re-cultivate, re, uh, because I don't think we need to plough at the moment, so we'll re-cultivate, um, re-seed again, fertilise, all that sort of stuff and get ready for, for day four. At this point in time, I'm not going to keep mowing around these fields. It just seems pointless at the moment. I'm going to have to try and save up a bit of extra money, buy a field somewhere. Hopefully a decent sized field, so maybe field 28 is probably too big. So maybe field 21 down there. It's not, not huge, but it's probably big enough. 
yeah, field field 20, 21 looks pretty good. Turn it into like a grass field so we can use it for the cows. Well, it's just going to take forever. We're doing it the way we're doing it. Obviously, it's going to be very expensive when we go to buy. So field 27 or 28 or even 25 is going to be very, very expensive for us. Just going to move over a little bit. Try and find these back up again. I've gone all wonky down here. Once I get it square, I'll hit the, which I have now, hit the higher worker button. Jump out, get out of their way. Come back and have a look. Watch it in action. It just rips them out of the ground with the front here somehow. And just chews them up. Keeps all the good bits we need and spits the bad stuff out the back. Uh, so we'll run through the corn here. You can actually see the corn on the cob. So there's one, two, two pieces. Yeah, two pieces per sprout, I guess you'd call it. So we're jumping out Voltra T. Still got the front loader attachment on the front. I'm hoping this trailer's not too big for those smaller tractors, but they should be fine. So we'll come along the side of him here and see. Hopefully, we'll fit underneath. We do take the corn he's got. Adjust the speed to 10. Speed up one little bit just so we can get right up the front. Reduce the speed one again. Looks like he's not getting a full full harvest there, there's only doing half of it, so Probably, at least he's straight where I wasn't, so we'll leave it at that. Forty seven hundred fifty four litres. So it's more than half for the six days, but we'll just tip off what we can, what we're not gonna use, we'll bring back down and put it back in the silo. I'll just check this trailer you can tip side back, grain door, yeah, so only the back of the grain door. Here comes Struggle Mountain again, or Struggle Hill. It's not even a full trailer yet, imagine when it's full he's going to struggle even more, I think. But it's probably only going to be a short 10-15 minute episode. Episode 14.5, we'll call it. Next episode, I'm not too sure what, what we'll do. Um, so much more we can do at this stage, except for just harvest and obviously I'll harvest everything we've got now, leave all the, the straw behind. Maybe sell everything we've got. I mean absolutely everything and try and get some money so we can sort of move on to doing the hay bales. Oh, sorry, straw bales. Get a baler. So we can use that for the cows. If and when we get there. Right, so now we hit unload. Try not to scare the pigs away. Yeah, so plenty, plenty in there. So we'll have a look. Corn is 4,000. So even though we've brought nine pigs, none of this has actually dropped. So I'm, I was sort of hoping that once you put a certain amount of pigs in there, well, we've got nine that this would slowly drop down and work out how much we need exactly. It would also be nice if I actually said, you know, 896 with a dash, like 896 of, say, 1980 or something, so we knew how much it can take and how much we actually have. So we'll just head back over. Obviously, the piggies are as happy as pigs in shit at the moment. Excuse my language, but now they've got corn, they're going to be extreme, extremely hungry. Extremely happy, even. They're probably extremely hungry because they haven't had corn yet, so. Let's 
look at all these trees up here that we can chop down. Obviously I would prefer not to, we'll leave it nice and scenic. Head down, see how he's going. He's not far off finishing, so... I might not even tip it off, I might just leave it here. Obviously I haven't even got a full trailer, there's no point in tipping it off. Just pull up here, jump down. Have a look at him go past. Yeah, so that's it. So 14.5. Episode 14.5. We thought I'd just show you what I was doing anyway, make sure we know that the pigs are 100% hungry. Productivity is still 59. So that'll update. Uh, once it's ready, I guess. It might take a set amount of time for it to, to actually realise that they've got food. Maybe when it hits 12 o'clock, it'll update. So yeah, we'll. I'll go through and harvest all the rest of this stuff, get it all ready for the next day. Put some more corn down here and so everything I've got and try and get ready so I can maybe the next video, episode 15, which I'll quickly jot down a note now when I'm finished. Um, episode 15, we might just do some baling. Um, have a quick look now before we go. Baling technology. So there's the bale trailer. <coughs> Bale collector eases the collection of bales. So it does square ones. I'm not sure. Hmm, I'm not sure what that actually does. That maybe that collects the smaller bales. They're the big balers, so that's the big square ones. That collects the bigger bales. Which collects sixteen bales, that collects three. Okay, so I see what, yeah, so you, you'll you have the big square bales, 102,000, that'll stack them into three, then you can come along with your front end loader, your forklift and bale, bale forks, and load them on three by three instead of one by one, so that's, we're going to need 27,000, I think we'll just skip the round baler, and we'll head straight to this, so 100, say 130,000 we're going to need, so I'm hoping we'll definitely make that much. There's nothing else I can think of that we need. Obviously, we're going to need some animal stuff later on. Like this here, the Silo King self-line compact, or... Uh, that just takes your straw bells and throws it in the cow, the cow stable. Um, and that, yeah, that mixes, so... But it's definitely easy to do this one. Just put a bale of hay, a bale of straw in there and then you just go through and pick up the silage with the front so <coughs> when we can we'll get that done so that's what we'll do episode 15 i'll sell all this stuff before and um we'll get bailing set up and we're gonna have heaps of bales so all right thanks for watching episode 14.5 i'll be back for episode 15 shortly <laughs>